What's up, YouTubers? Today I am going back in time to my favorite store as a kid. We're going to Toys R Us. They had bikes, trains, video games. It was the biggest toy store there was. And I am opening 1987, 1988, and 1989 The Rookies card sets. These were obviously Toys R Us exclusives. 33 super glossy photo cards of all the years, supposedly hot rookies. Each set came uh, in its own little box, same size for each year, with a $1.99 price point there on the back, with a checklist that I purposely did not study or look at too intently, because I want this video to be as fresh for me as it is for anybody watching at home. Let me pan back the camera a little bit and get a wider view here. And we will bust into all three of these sets and see how good each rookie class was from 1987 through 1989, as they don't want to stand up now. We will start in 1987. These supposedly were never opened but uh, just looking at that seal on the top as you can see these seals with the flaps once they get opened they kind of uh, don't close so that one looks like it's been opened before it could just be my untrained eye but uh, let's get right in here to the 1987 set at one point in my life I owned pretty much all these sets I don't know where the cards have gone because I was looking through uh, my personal collection and did not see any of these in the star cards. I know there's a Bonds, and I know there's a uh, Will Clark, and I know there's a McGuire. And the only one that I still have in my collection is the Mark McGuire. So on that note, here is the 1987 set, 33 super glossy cards, like I said. And they still have quite a bit of shine for being incubated in that box for, what, 30 plus years? So card number one. Let me pan back a little bit more here. We've got Pete Incaviglia with the Texas Rangers. Hit 30 home runs as a rookie in 1987. Never played minor league baseball. Interesting note there. We've got Charlie Kerfeld with the shades on, pitching for the Astros there in spring training. Focus. Focus. I do like these black bordered 1987 cards. The Toys R Us logo with all the colors up there looks really nice. We've got Kevin Mitchell with the Mets. Pine Tarn up his bat there, it looks like. He was integral in that uh, 86 game six comeback against the Red Sox in the World Series. I think uh, he got the hit after Gary Carter had a two out single to keep the inning going. Andres Thomas with the Braves. He was a Topps Rookie Cup winner in 1987. John Crook needs a new hat. It's quite glazed with sweat, as is John Crook's face. We've got Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer, with the Reds there, with the action shot. And then it doesn't look like it's a spring training photo either. Jim does the dishes with the Astros. Greg Matthews with the Cardinals. I don't remember Greg Matthews, but obviously he didn't pan out. Corey Snyder, also of Team USA fame, had a couple of 30 home run years and then dried up faster than the rain here in the Arkansas heat, and that is no joke because it just happened today. Mike Lavalier with the Cardinals before he got traded to the Pirates and was an all-star in 1992, I believe. Todd Worrell, lots of Cardinals in the set. He was Rookie of the Year because I believe he led the National League in saves as a rookie. Could be wrong, but... Dale, I never knew how to pronounce his last name, so I'm going to call him what I did as a kid. Dale Zveem. Just sounds cool. Rolls off the tongue, just like his mustache. Mitch Wild Thing Williams with the Rangers. Before he, uh, he went to the Cubs and the Phillies. And there's the Will Clark card that I still have in my collection. Good looking Will the Swill. Looking young and spry before he would lead the National League All-Star vote getters in 1989. Ruben High Sierra, always a fancy dresser with the Rangers. Cal Daniels with the Reds. Scott Bales of Hay, kind of looking like Will Clark there if you just glance at that. Focus. Eric Stephen King, I don't remember him with the Tigers. Good author, though. Paul Assmuncher, rookie. Nice. 
one of the best nicknames. Wally Joyner in front of a packed house there. Kurt Stillwell Angel with the Reds. That was the name of the kid on A League of Their Own. Mark Eichhorn. Mark Lois Einhorn. Bo Jackson. Nice looking shot there. Taking some BP. Bruce Ruffin. Also a Rookie Cup winner in 87 tops. Had a bunch of walks, though. I think he walked over 100 guys in barely over 100 innings. Andy Allenson, another Cup winner from 87 tops. Danny Tartable, rocking the long hair back in the day. Love that old Mariners logo. They need to bring that back. Barry Bonds, on natural Barry there, with a normal size head and leadoff skill set. Used to bat leadoff back in the day. Dan, please my sack. His kid now pitches for the Indians, I think. And he's a pretty good announcer for the uh, MLB Network. Jose Canseco, probably just getting into the steroids about this time. Harmon Killebrew, way back in the day in uh, 86 for the Twins on the radio, said that uh, pretty much on the air that Jose Canseco was taking steroids. So way to go, Harmon Killebrew. You could definitely spot him. Jim Traber, looks like he hasn't quite woken up yet for his photo. Ed Hearn. Looking like a math teacher. Robbie Thompson, who somehow looks like a rookie and can buy from the senior menu at any restaurant. And John Saruti, or Caruti, or don't know how to say his last name, with the Blue Jays there. So that is the 1987 set. Handful of the star cards, a couple of Hall of Famers, obviously, with Larkin and maybe Bonds if he gets voted in. Will Clark was one of my favorite players as a kid because I grew up in the Bay Area. Oh, because of that flap, see, the back cards don't want to go in there, so I'm not going to jam those back in there. I'm going to gently place them right there in the background. See, I think that box was opened because when you put the flap back in, that's what she said, the card tends to stick up a little bit. See that? You see how this one doesn't have that at all. And obviously this pack is still sealed, so that's never been opened. So, all right. Moving right along to 1988. Mm, look at those. Incubated for 32 years. 88, 98, 2008, 2019, Yep. One card didn't want to come out, and it's John Smiley. Obviously keeping his namesake with that big old grin right there. Put that there in the background. Whoop. Nice and glossy still. David Cohn exposing himself in the bullpen like a dirt bag. Threw a no-hitter with the Yankees later on in his career. Ken Gearhart. Don't remember Ken Gearhart. I thought it was Billy Ripken for a second. I was like, wait a minute, what's on his knob? Again, that's what she said. Randy Myers, nasty boy. Ellis Burks, the Boston Red Sox. I always forget that he ended his career with the uh, Rockies. John Marzano, catcher with the Red Sox, it looks like there. Ken Caminetti, rest in peace. But steroids made him an MVP. Benny Santiago, rookie of the year with the Padres. Had a 34-game hitting streak as a rookie. Folks, we're talking Matt Noakes. 32 home runs for the Tigers in the year of the long ball. Of course, before the steroid era and last year. Mike Greenwell. He was runner-up to Jose Canseco when he uh, was MVP with his 40-40 year. And Mike Greenwell said that he was cheated out of the MVP because Canseco was on steroids and said that uh, he should be awarded the MVP. And he did not win that argument. Jerry Brown, the governor with the Rangers. Bobby Thigpen went to college uh, at Mississippi State with Will Clark and Rafael Palmero. Kelly Down syndrome with the Giants. Jeff Musselman with the Blue Jays. I like those old Blue Jays hats. Terry Steinbach, All-Star Game MVP in 1988 in Cincinnati. He hit a two-run home run and then a sacrifice fly. Or no, hit a solo home run and a sack fly, and they won 2-1 to one in the All-Star Game. Boringest All-Star Game of all time. Fred McGriff, the crime dog. 496 home runs, I think, in his career. Should be in the Hall of Fame. Mike Henman with the savage butt chin. The Tigers, Kevin Seitzer, 207 hits as a rookie, and then uh, pretty much dried up after that. He might have had a decent follow-up year, but then uh, never was able to re-establish himself 
as an everyday player, I don't think. Al Pedrique with the Pirates. Billy Ripken, there he is. Known for uh, being the brother of Cal and uh, his naughty bat, 89 Fleer. B.J. Surhoff, who I was surprised to look at his career stats. He had well over 2,000 career hits, almost uh, like 2,300 career hits. You got Dwayne Boyce. Boyce! Dwayne. Mike Stanley with the Rangers. Mike Dunn with the Pirates. Casey Candale, the old Spose. There's the McGuire card. You can always tell pictures that were taken at the Oakland Coliseum with the uh, bright yellow dugout. Sam Horn with the Red Sox. I remember him with the Orioles. Louis Polonia, rocking the long Jerry Curl, looking sweet there. Joe Migraine Headache with the Cardinals. Fred Mannequin with the White Sox and the Sweet Spectacles. Bob Brower, another Ranger. Todd Benzinger with the Red Sox. And Devo White, he liked to whip it good. Batting lead off many years. So that was the 1988 set. Not too many star players in that set, but still fun to look at and reminisce. Let's go to 1989. This one I'm going to have to have to open, and I do not have my box knife with me. So bear with me as I try to find a seam. Seam established. All right. 1989, the rookies. This set I did not have. I had the 87 and the 88. And by the box, we can tell that these are going to be yellow cards. Set that in the back. See how now that flap's kind of sticking up there? That's how you can tell these have been opened. That one obviously was not, but that set had been. Anyway, first card, we've got Nelson Santovania, catcher with the Expos. I don't remember Nelson. Dave Gallagher with the White Sox. Jay Buhner with the Mariners, who was traded... As a prospect from the Yankees to the Mariners. Had a handful of very productive years in the mid-90s. Ron Jones with the Phillies. Melito Perez. Awesome Jerry Curl there as well. Robbie Alomar. There's a the Hall of Famer with the Padres. I don't know why the Padres traded him to the Blue Jays when he was just peaking early in his career there. Jody Reed, runner-up to Walt Weiss for Rookie of the Year in 80, was it 88? Tim Belcher, former number one draft pick. Greg Jeffries, this guy was so hot back in the day. I don't know why. Kind of a utility infielder guy. Not very big. I think he was 5'9", like 170 pounds. I was like, what's the big deal? That guy's not going to be a power hit or anything. But he was supposed to be super legit. But he did have a long career. So, good for Greg. Pete Stanisek with the Orioles. Jeff Treadway with the Reds. Gary Sheffield with the Brewers, who toiled around and uh, I think pissed everybody off in the Brewers organization, and then they dumped him to the Padres in 92, and his career pretty much took off from there. Oh my God, Chris Sabo, my favorite guy from the 80s. Loved, loved, loved me some Chris Sabo. So we're just going to set that up there for all to enjoy his glory. We got Walt Weiss, there is the rookie of the year for the A's. Brady Anderson, this guy hit 50 home runs. This guy right here. In 1996, or was it 97? Somebody will uh, let me know. Hit 50 home runs. Unbelievable. Ron Gant, 300 plus career home runs for Ron Gant. Cecil Espy Award winner, the Rangers. Mike Schooler with the Mariners. Paul Gibson, kind of looking like Billie Jean King right there. Al Leiter with the Yankees, now works for MLB Network, good commentator. Kevin Elster, Damon found my thrill on Barry Hill. Ricky Jordan, failed prospect with the Phillies, this guy was supposed to be huge. I had a ton of his rookie cards, thinking I was going to go to college with the money I was going to make selling them. Mark Grace, banging road beef, probably right after this picture was taken. Pete Smith with the Braves, I don't remember Pete. Jeff Pico from my old hometown of Antioch, California. Roberto Kelly with the Yankees. 
Darren Jackson with the Cubs. I don't remember. I don't remember Darren Jackson. Black Jack McDowell before he had, grew the goatee and got a little bit fatter. Dave West with the Mets. Brian Harvey with the Angels. Mackie Sasser. Mackie Sasser. That's got to be the most effeminate name. Little Mackie. And Sherman Corbett. Corbett is my middle name. I don't tell too many people that. So Sherman Corbett will have a special place in my collection right next to this guy. So that was my trip down memory lane going to Toys R Us and getting some of the rookies. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And on my next video, I'm going to bust open this, the 1993 uh, Top Stadium Club Toys R Us exclusive set that I did not even know this existed. So I found this on eBay. I'm really excited to open that. I don't even know what those cards look like. It's going to be fresh for me and you. So hope you guys will uh, tune into that. I'll probably post that uh, Tuesday. So thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.